Really quickly, before we get started, what system are you going to be playing Grand Theft Auto 6 on? I know it won't be on Steam on day one. Will you be playing on PC or will you be playing on the consoles? Let me know in those comments down below. GTA 6 is going to have some huge rivals to compete with, even coming from their own publisher and parent company, Take-Two Interactive. We'll be talking about what that means and more all in this video today. So GTA 6 is not the only major video game coming out in 2025, and there were a lot more announced yesterday. We're getting into video game announcement season. This was a part of opening night live, and Take-Two Interactive announced several new titles that were all going to be releasing in 2025, including Mafia the Old Country, Borderlands 4, WWE 2K25, Judas, and Civilization 7. And that also doesn't include their yearly NBA game on top of that. If all these games come out in 2025, it's going to be a massive year. Now, there's a good chance that at least one or two of these games are pushed out of 2025 to help spread them out, because I find it very unlikely they'll put two or three of their own games in that fall 2025 time period against GTA 6. That would just not make sense. And with the announcement of those new titles from GTA 6's parent company, we saw their stock price absolutely skyrocket. I mean, if you think about it, this is great news all the way around. You have all these new titles that are going to be releasing in the same year as Grand Theft Auto 6. That's obviously going to lead to some huge revenue and some massive profits for the company. So everyone considered that to be good news, but it looks like 2025 is going to have more Grand Theft Auto 6 rivals just than coming from their own company. I mean, we talked about some of the ones from Take-Two Interactive, like Mafia the Old Country, Borderlands 4. We've also got Dying Light the Beast, Death Stranding 2, Monster Hunter Wild, Fables South by Midnight. You've got Doom, Metroid Prime 4, Ark Raiders, Terminator Survivor, Crimson Desert, The First Berserker, Kazan. You've got Splitgate 2. You've got Little Nightmares 3. These are just some of the games that are going to be coming out in 2025. And they will all be directly competing with Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, I would say that many of these titles are probably going to want to avoid that fall 2025 time. In fact, I've actually got a little bit of a theory regarding Mafia 4. You could say that that one in Borderlands, probably like the two big ones that were announced from Take-Two Interactive, but I don't think that Take-Two Interactive is gonna wanna put any of their titles in that fall 2025 time period. Because on that Gamescom show, they also announced that they would be getting another look in December and that the game would be launching in 2025. So if I was a betting man, I would say that Mafia 4 would probably come earlier in the year, like spring 2025, and then leaving Grand Theft Auto 6 in fall 2025. If you have a five or six month period, that's plenty of time for you to jump in and enjoy one game like Mafia the Old Country and then still have the not only resources to play Grand Theft Auto 6, but also the time, energy and investment to. So that's just my theory on that, that a lot of these rivals will probably end up releasing months before because we've seen what's happened in the past when rivals try to combat and compete with Grand Theft Auto directly. We saw that with Watch Dogs back in 2013. In fact, they even poked the bear a little bit more by making some poster that basically said two months is enough in Los Santos come to Chicago. So I don't think that was the wisest of moves, but there's a lot of GTA 6 rivals that have been announced over the last 24 hours. And it'll be interesting to see how many of those stick in 2025, but also how many try to compete directly with GTA 6's release date. But until GTA 6 gets here, there's still a ton of games currently that are having massive success, but they're even still referencing Grand Theft Auto 6 with that success. And that title is Black Myth Wukong, which has achieved considerable success since its release. In fact, in less than a day, it smashed PAL Worlds and Counter-Strike 2's concurrent players records to become the second most played Steam game ever. And despite leaving Pal World in the dust, the game's community manager doesn't seem to mind at all, saying, I hope Wukong breaks 4 million. That was Pal World's community manager, John Bucky Buckley, who says, We won't see another game reach these heights 
until probably GTA 6. And as of that statement, there's 1.5 million players in Black Myth Wukong, and it currently has a 24-hour and overall peak of 2.2 million, about 100,000 more than Pal World. And he's probably right. We probably won't see a bigger player count until Grand Theft Auto 6, but it is still interesting to see that even with the success of other games, that everyone's still looking forward to the future, looking forward to 2025 and saying, hey, GTA 6 is probably going to absolutely smash that when the time comes. And on the Rockstar Games side of things, they're trying to keep us entertained until GTA 6 gets here as well. And one of the things they've done is added Bully to the GTA Plus games library, but there was a little bit of confusion on whether it was a new version of Bully, whether it was a remake or remaster, or just simply a port, well, Rockstar Games cleared up the confusion, releasing a Q&A article posing a hypothetical question, saying what are the differences between the versions of Bully included with GTA Plus on each platform? And their answer is players on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 can download and play the original PlayStation 2 version of Bully via PlayStation 4 re-release and PlayStation 5 backwards compatibility. And players on Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One can download and play Bully Scholarship Edition via Xbox backwards compatibility. And Bully Scholarship Editions contains missions, classes, clothing items, and two-player online minigames not included in the original launch of Bully. So it looks like the PlayStation guys are kind of getting screwed here. Xbox guys are getting really the one version of Bully that you do want to end up playing. So that's, I guess, one of Rockstar's tactics to keep us occupied until GTA 6 in 2025 gets here. It's going to be kind of re-releases like that. Bully coming for GTA+. Plus. We know that Red Dead Redemption will be coming to PC probably right around the corner. I'm assuming they will make that announcement shortly. So all of that is to get us held over to 2025, where GTA 6 will get here, but there's also going to be a ton of rivals for that, some mega games as well. Let me know in those comments down below, do you think any of those rival games will have an impact on GTA 6, or do you think GTA 6 is just going to dwarf it all? And will you be playing some of those other titles like Mafia the Old Country and Borderlands 4? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. Or, of course, if you want to reach out to me on social media, links to my Facebook and X account are in the description. Over there, you can send even longer messages, photos, videos, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.